it is spring again. The earth is like a child that knows poems by heart. Rainer Maria Rilke Hello, dear friends. In today's video, we would like to tell you about a hypothetical collision between Earth and another planet that occurred around 4.5 billion years ago, potentially leading to the formation of the Moon. In this video, you will learn about the chronology of events, which planet Earth collided with, and how this could have happened. Before we begin, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be the first to see our new intriguing videos about the mysteries of the universe. Among all the inner planets of the solar system, Earth is the only one with a large satellite. The origin of the Moon is one of the oldest mysteries in astronomy, yet many planetary scientists today believe that it has finally been resolved. But let's start in order. With the development of space exploration, humanity became increasingly interested in Earth's natural satellite. In the mid-20th century, scientists pondered why the average density of lunar matter is more than 1.5 times lower than the average density of Earth's matter, despite having a nearly identical chemical composition. After the explanation was obtained, suggesting that the reason for this disparity lies in the absence of a dense molten iron core in the Moon, unlike the Earth, the question shifted. Why do such similar celestial bodies, Earth and the Moon, have such different internal structures? All planetary bodies are formed from material around stars and, as a result, should have roughly the same chemical composition. This mystery troubled scientists, leading to the proposal of two initial theories about the origin of our satellite, the capture theory and the tidal theory. The first theory implied that the Moon is an independently formed planet in the solar system that found itself in close proximity to Earth and was captured by it as a satellite. However, this theory does not hold up to any criticism today as the assumption that a body orbiting independently around the Sun could transition to a nearly circular orbit around Earth contradicts all known physical law. The competing tidal theory suggested that in the distant past, Earth rotated around its axis much faster than today, resulting in powerful centrifugal forces on the planet's surface, causing a large chunk to break away from our planet, eventually settling into a stable orbit around Earth. There were even hypotheses that the Pacific Basin represents a post-birth trauma suffered by our planet due to the Moon's creation. However, studies of the chemical composition of lunar matter refute both of the above-mentioned hypotheses. On one hand, the Moon is too close to Earth in its chemical composition to have formed far from our planet, and, on the other hand, it's not close enough to be a fragment of Earth. In the last decades of the 20th century, another hypothesis emerged gaining sufficient recognition in scientific circles. Its essence lies in a scenario where, during the early stages of the solar system's development, a celestial body no smaller than Mars collided with Earth. As a result of this cataclysm, a significant amount of material from Earth's mantle and crust was ejected into Earth's orbit, eventually forming the Moon. Today, the planet that collided with Earth is called Theia, in honor of one of the Titanides in ancient Greek mythology, the mother of Selene, the goddess of the Moon. It is believed that Theia was formed 4.6 billion years ago, similar in size to Mars. Let's explore what happened then. Approximately 30 million years after its formation, Earth collided with the protoplanet there. The impact wasn't direct, but at an angle, almost tangential. In a paper published in 2004 by Edward Belbruno and Richard Gott, they speculated that there, which collided with Earth, might have formed at one of the Lagrange points in the Earth-Sun system. Lagrange points are positions in a two-massive body system where a smaller third body can remain stationary relative to those bodies due to gravitational forces. However, due to some external influence, they shifted to a chaotic orbit and ultimately collided with Earth at a relatively low velocity. Computer simulations conducted by Simon Locke and Sarah Stewart demonstrated that the planets collided with such force that they merged into a single celestial body. As a result, the core of the planets fused, forming a torus-shaped mixture, intensely hot. Roughly 100 years later, 
A piece broke off from this mixture, forming the sphere that became the moon. The proto-moon began orbiting at a radius of about 60,000 kilometers, while the remaining material formed the Earth. As a result, Earth experienced a rapid increase in its rotational speed, completing one rotation in five hours and a noticeable tilt in its axis of rotation. A vast magma ocean formed on it. Several percent of Earth's mass was ejected beyond the Earth-Moon system. The latest modeling, led by scientists from the California Institute of Technology, revealed two massive anomalies at the juncture of Earth's core and its lower mantle layers. These anomalies are two continents spanning several thousand kilometers each. They are located beneath Africa and the Pacific Ocean and could serve as indirect evidence of the collision of two planets. However, with technological advancements, humanity will likely be able to accurately answer in the coming years whether such a planet as the air existed or not. This will help unravel one of the many mysteries of the universe. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on new intriguing videos about space and the universe. Please share in the comments what you'd like to learn about in the next video. Thank you and see you next time.